Hey, so today I'm going to show you how to use the stat crunch on your MyStatLab um, to look at normal probability distributions. So let's say that we are interested in looking at the height of women that has a normal distribution with a mean of 64 and a standard deviation of 3. Let's say we want to figure out what the probability a randomly chosen woman will be between 58 and 62 inches tall. So we could do this using the table um, that's in Appendix A of your textbook, but let's say that we wanted to use StatCrunch. So we're going to go to My Stat Lab. We're going to go to StatCrunch. We are going to go to the StatCrunch website. And we are going to go to Open StatCrunch. All right, now the next step is that we don't need to put any variables in, so we're not going to be using this spreadsheet here. We're going to go to Stat. We want to Calculate, so we're going to go to Calculators. And these are the different kinds of distributions. Right now we're talking about Normal. We're going to go down to Normal Distribution. And we will have this nice distribution here. And you can see that it's already set up. Um, in the standard normal distribution, that's where our mean is 0 and our standard deviations are 1, negative 1, 2, 3, etc. So let's see, when we're looking at the height of women, they have a normal distribution with a mean of 64 and a standard deviation of 3. So let's see, mean is 64, standard deviation is 3. Great, and we haven't put anything in here, so we haven't entered our probability. Now, here, you can change it to greater than or less than. So, let's say we're interested in the probability that a chosen woman, X, is less than, let's say, 64 inches tall. Well, that's going to be a 50% probability because our mean is 64. However, our question was how many or what is the probability a randomly chosen woman will be between 58 and 62 inches so it's not a simple greater than or less than question so if we just scroll up here and we click between then it will give us these bounds here so let's see what was the question it was between 58 and 62 inches so right here we are going to put 58, and our upper bound here was 62. Let's see, was that right? Yeah, 58 and 62. So you can see that it fills in the area that's between 58 and 62, and our probability is 0.2297, so about 23%-ish. Great. So let's see what that would look like if we did this. So we can take that 62 inches, which is here, and we can take this number 0 0.2524, et cetera, and we can subtract from that the probability that one is 58 inches tall. So we would subtract this area, and we get the area that we saw before. This is a really neat tool to play with. Um, it's pretty user-friendly, too. So go ahead and give it a try um, and just mess around with some numbers.